Although there are so many versions of a career mom that you can break down and present, Kristen Perkins is one of those that's just hard to ignore. She's a mother of three, a registered nurse, a spin instructor, and a fitness ambassador, all while she competes in fitness competitions and shows up on time for her kids' activities. Now, that's a very busy plate, but at the same time, that's one of the main reasons why I chose to interview her. Now, this might seem a lot, but for her, it's important that she holds herself accountable to all of her commitments as a leader to be there for all the things life has to offer. More importantly, inspiring those around her to be better. What I found out during this interview is that she is a transformational leader, always willing to make those around her feel that they can accomplish anything if they just put their minds to it and apply their own talents appropriately, understanding that although we are all different, we are all inspired pretty much in the same way by ourselves. Now, one of the first characteristics of transformational leadership is to be a creative, which is what she did with her social media accounts. Now, Kristen, like anyone else, created her Instagram account. She told me with the intentions of sharing a couple of photos of her and her family from time to time during special events and things that they had going on. But what she did notice is that her contributions of posts towards fitness and her fitness goals were more popular than other ones were. And that really struck a chord with her thinking, man... Maybe if I can make this a functional page as opposed to just a regular picture sharing page, this could really do something for myself and for those around me, which is why she decided to open up with more personal battles that she had with body dysmorphia and eating disorders to expose the flaw side of all those pretty pictures that she was displaying. She wanted to make sure that everybody knew that she was not perfect, that she definitely had some flaws to her and that everyone has flaws to them which is also a huge, huge part of being a transformational leader. Exposing those sides to yourself to let everyone know that, yes, we are all in this together is definitely a huge attribute and a characteristic that Kristen constantly displays daily. Now, the second characteristic of being a transformational leader is to be interactive, which is exactly what she does on all of her social media accounts and with the people in her life. Now, she has direct contact with people that are in her spin class that ask her for tips on how to eat better, how to sleep better, how to have a better overall healthy lifestyle. And Kristen is very open and very willing to help people out with that on a one-on-one basis or even online. People do message her from time to time. She told me at first it was a little weird because she wasn't used to giving that type of advice, but after she did her own research and made sure that she was certified herself to give this kind of information that she gets excited every time somebody tries to be interactive with her, either in person or online, which is pretty good if you ask me, especially whenever you're trying to be a great leader. Now, one of the things that Kristen loved to talk about was the fact that she became a spin instructor a little over a year ago. I remember when she was taking her classes in order to train herself to be a spin instructor because you can't just walk into this position. And I asked her what that process was like. And she said it was very stressful because she knew that in order to be a spin instructor, that she was going to have to know certain particulars that everyone else would know, but that she wanted to make it her own creative lane. As a visionary, Kristen creates a curriculum in her spin classes that is unlike any other instructors that are at her location. Now, she even created some type of competition between her and the owner, considering that it might just be a little bit much for them to handle all her personality. But she said, you know what? This is my personality. This is exactly how I'm going to run with it. And I'm excited to be myself and inspire those around me with my crazy outfits and my crazy quotes that I bring throughout the class, which I think is very, very characteristically visionary, if you ask me. Now, in a recent video post on social media, Kristen speaks to every woman who has had struggles with meeting social norms and expectations, telling them that they can be whoever it is that they choose as long as they push hard enough. That, to me, is the fourth characteristic of being a transformational leader, and it's the one that made me choose to interview her. She shared with me that she knows her daughter and two other children are watching her every move and wants to be inspiring to her daughter as she grows, showing her that there are no limits to who she wants to become just as long as she believes in herself. Now, although she's faced with negativity at times, she is compassionate to those who try to derail her from her endeavors, and she chucks it up to a lack of personal confidence and insecurities on their part. She stated that she realizes that they might need just a little inspiration from her page, so she always makes sure to turn an extra negative day into a positive post for those people who just don't understand her journey, and that's perfectly okay. There's never a day that you feel as though Kristen is not sincere with her passion for her newfound brand and creativity. She's constantly pushing the envelope with her unique style while remaining positive light for those around her who are trying to find some passion of their own. How does this not make her a transformational leader. She's inspiring people to be creative, to be visionaries, to be interactive, to take charge of their own life and to lead on their own so that way they can have their own goals be met and run through. Now, the choice is for you. 
Do you want to go ahead and be that transformational leader that Kristen is trying to teach you to be? Or are you deciding that maybe it's just not for you, which is perfectly okay because everybody has their path. But who wouldn't want a little inspiration from time to time? I know I do.